Um, Joe Rogan recently came out with, uh, it was a compilation of him saying uh, the Mm N-word, as well as referring uh, to black people uh, as Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Also saying that, um, you know, black, black, uh, black people only have bodies and white people are brains. Yeah. He said that? Yeah. He said, you know, if two black people mix, the kid is going to come out with a black body and brains of a white person. He also said. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Are you sure about this? I'm 100%. Hold on a second. Let me just look this up before I get sued by Joe Rogan. Yeah, no, it, it's a, he said it. I fuck with Joe, though. I fuck with Joe Rogan. I don't have no gripe against him at all. Here we go. Uh, you get the body of a black man, and then you get the mind of a white man uh, all together in some strange combination yeah. about having a different brain. and Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know that he has a half black stepdaughter? The woman he's married to had a daughter with the lead singer of H Town. Hmm. Remember Knock yeah. the Boots? Yeah. Who died in a car accident. Hmm. So he has a mixed stepdaughter who he lives with. So it's kind of crazy that he says. I don't know, man. Like. That. This is my thing, right? And I Sheesh. Wanna, I want to say I didn't this. know about this. Yeah, yeah. This is actually kind of upsetting. So that, so right that makes your apology go away. Even when he made the apology, it goes away now, right? It's like it's over for your apology. I mean, it doesn't hold as much yeah. weight. The I mean, apology this, this doesn't is just hold ignorant. weight at all. It's, it doesn't hold weight at all. This is my thing, right? Man, this is my take with Joe Rogan. And this is my take with all racist people. Like, if that's how you feel, stand on it. And it's a half ass it. Either you go hard or you go home. Now, moving forward, like, in... Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm 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 gonna say this loud and clear, and I want the whole internet to understand this. There was one time where I had a real chip on my shoulder in regards to racism. I spent a lot of my time like, yo, that's fucked up what they did to us. You know, uh, like one day they gonna get theirs. And I used to always complain online, like life not fair, the system not fair. Like I used to all I was one of those people. But as I get older and I start to understand what I am, you're right, life not fair. It's not fair to be black. Being black is a cheat code. It's a glitch. Like we're born with huff badges. Like literally, like just from a DNA standpoint, it's a cheat. Like for example, like if you come in our neighborhood and sleep with all the women, you're going to have black kids. If I come in your neighborhood and sleep with all the women, you're going to have black kids. Genetically, we're cheat. We can erase other people just by breeding. We're cheating. It, it it depends on no, it I depends on the think. kids. Certain certain people like you know, hundred um, percent nigga erase. I mean, We're you cheap. have uh uh what what's his name? Um, what's his name? The, the, the mixed rapper. Let me tell you, uh, what Logic. For example, you look at Logic. Logic could pass for white, and he's got a black father, well, right? I mean, black father got some other stuff in there. Some 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 twisted. But more of the stories look. I'm gonna tell you when I stop hating races. I mean, I stop hating other race people. I got I got a Caucasian friend, and um, was in Hawaii, and um, he pretty much broke it down to me. It was like, "Day, why do you go so hard on us? Like, I know you know my fault that slavery happened, and and you know the systematic racism and shit like that." He was like, "Hey, bro, like, do you know what it feels like to not know how to dance?" And I was like, that's supposed to be the trade off. I was like, no. And he was like, you would never understand what it feel like to not be coordinated to like all these things that we don't deal with. <laughs> like, yeah, but that's bullshit because I actually, no, I, no, I can dance pretty well and I have a lot of coordination no, no, you, simply, simply because I practiced, you, you, you know, but, I practiced. I don't think you, I was born with a certain learn, level of rhythm. That's like, what I mean. You, you, you. There was a point of time in your life, you're like, I'm gonna cut this beat on. <laughs> I'm gonna try to shot you. Well, I, th- I think in black people, they're probably born with not knowing how, you know, you no, look at it's no, true. No, it's no, no I'm gonna argue black, with this. Black, people aren't born, but black. but people that grow up in a in a family where everyone's dancing and they start to emulate it, nah, it seems like they're just born with it, but they're nah, actually just learning. Hey, they're my, practicing. My son was bobbing his head two days after he was born. Okay. Right. There's multiple videos. You can Google it's mo- baby three months old dancing. It's multiple. Vi- it's part of our genetic DNA to bop. All right. It's just, I mean, it's we just... can agree to disagree. I mean, it's all good. And, and listen, at the end of the day, though, you have mixed kids. No, you do. You do. I have, I have you have mixed kids. I have mixed kids. Hundred percent. Not not 100%. people. Generally. You in particular. I, I, you I don't have, have mixed two. kids. I don't have mixed kids. I got black kids. 
but the kid's no, mother black. is. If they get pulled over by the police, they ain't going to say mix. They're going to say black. Yeah. That's it. That's all. But that's but that's because of mm. America's racism. Hey, oh, so you right. go to other countries and they actually have different different words. Like, for example, like you go to Brazil and people who are mixed are known as morenos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whereas people with dark skin are considered like more black. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But but. It's just, it's just the whole just one drop just, bullshit rule in America that's like, oh, if you're 1% black, then you're black. Like, you know, but in reality, you know, that's all nonsense. Really, like you have, you have you everyone have has their own specific DNA and, and it's it, it has a lot of different, hey, you know, hey, aspects hey. to it. Like clearly your kids, although they may appear black, there's obviously a lot of traits that their mother has handed down to them. Yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> hey, niggas. <laughs> they niggas black, it don't matter, niggas. But no, nah, but no, nah, I, okay. I just I just started to really understand, man, like the more history you do, just in terms of like uh black civilizations and non black civilizations, like like I look at like George Washington and all them niggas. I look at all the pictures historically of non black people and they all look sad. Everyone, they don't got no swag, they got bunk ass high socks, look like leprechauns and shit, like we was lit. We been lit from the pyramids. We been lit. We been draped down, Gucci down. Uh, <laughs> Horace had the gold stab. Niggas, Horace and all them niggas, they was out there turning up the pyramids. Nigga, bottles on me. Gold, everything. We been lit. We been swaggy. So at that point in time, I just realized, I'm like, you know what? Except for the people that actually had to build the pyramids. Yeah, I don't think they were lit too much. They, they, they might have been a little lit <laughs> after they built it. You know, they, Horace said, hey man, hand, hand my man a bottle or two. You feel me? What a, Osiris or something. But no, I, I just realized, man, like, like, and you know, I, I say this too, cause I, I, I live in pretty much like a predominantly white area now. And when I go to the gym and I play basketball, like I, it's not fair. <laughs> like it's just, and I'm like not in nowhere near the best shape of my life. And it's just not fair. Like, yeah. Just, and there's people in there every day trying to be better, but they got a limit. Like, it, it, well, then so, you have uh, the Larry Birds of the yeah, world you, to come you, you in and just two. demolish everyone. You, you get one or two. You get a Jason Williams. You get right. one or two. But for the most part, on a global scale, it's like, I, I understand it, man. Black people need to be humbled. Slavery had to happen. We need to be humbled. Because y'all were too lit before we that? We was too lit, dog. We was, we was. All right. Nigga said, hey, let me get I'm a not, pyramid. I'm not, touch, I'm not touching that. <laughs> Nick, that let me get a pyramid. That's all you right there. Let me get a pyramid. Nigga said, shit, I want three of them. <laughs> we was balling. Okay. Master Moose was giving gold to everybody. everybody. Every, the richest man of all time. Master yeah. Moose was the first nigga did this with gold bricks to the whole world. <laughs> it's a fact. We was balling. With actual gold bricks. Just gold bricks. Bricks hitting people in the head and all that. All gold bricks. Bricks. All gold bricks. He's the first nigga. So what I'm saying is we was really OD, like we was wilding. So, you know, hey, we humble. It's cool. We get it back, though. We get it back. You know, black people always fuck up the pack. That's just what we do. We fucked up the pack, dog. We get it back. Ain't no biggie. 